Skip, is it all right if I date someone who's not a Christian? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Answers. Short answer is yes. Um, is it God's best? Short answer, no. And it's like, okay, I, I was thinking about this two days ago. I was like, God, give me a new way to kind of explain this. Because I've talked to this, and they don't seem to like the answer I give. <laughs> it's like, so I can be who I want. So I'm praying that they're going to get converted after I start dating them. <laughs> no missionary dating in here. That ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm going to the battlefield of a sinner, Lord, and I'm going to win him by love. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me give you a different perspective on it, dude. If you are Jesus follower, if you are a Christian, if you are a Bible believer, you know, whatever term that you want to claim that falls in that category, then you are royalty. Uh, see, I tried, God, I wanted God to give me something to make you all say, oh, man. I have more value because, and no judgment on the other person, but it's just a thinking that they're in a different category from you. Mm -hmm. You're a king's kid. Mm -hmm. You're royalty. Mm -hmm. And the person that is not affiliated with your king, who actually bashes your king, who actually says they don't want anything to do with your king, is someone living on the outskirts of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because the king has everything. And if you're going against the king, you have nothing. So why would a king's kid say, Dad, I'm leaving your house because I want to go over here with the people that want nothing to do with you? And when I saw that, I said, God, help us, your kids, to see our worth more. Because if God is really that, then don't you think he has another heir in the kingdom worthy of your calling, worthy of who you are? That you don't have to settle for, I mean, he looks good and he kind of talks about God. Don't you understand that the Bible talks about being unequally yoked and unbalanced scales that that will start to influence you? Little by little, you're like, no, it won't skip. <gasps> yes, it will. Ask Eve in the Garden of Eden, walking with Jesus. You know, picture that, walking with God every day. You know, hey, God, how are you? I just love in this earth that you, you made. You know, it's, it's great. Thank you for Adam. He's a, he's a wonderful husband. But over time, she talked to the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. She left the kingdom mm -hmm. and talked to trash mm -hmm. until trash persuaded her to disobey the king. Mm -hmm. And again, it's happened time and time again. You look through all the Bible, it's, it's a slow fade. Lot was with Abraham. And he's like, Dad, uh, Uncle Abe, you know, Life is great with you. My flocks, I'm rich now thanks to you. But you know what? Um, our people are beefing, so I think we need some space. He said, okay, son, choose what you want. He said, we have land over here. We have nice grass over here. But we have this city of Sodom and Gomorrah in the back over there. And Lot looks and says, hey, uncle, you've been great. I'm going this way. I'm following God. We, we blood. I'm not going to go to that city. And he pitches his tent in the grass. Flip a chapter over, he gets taken and Abraham has to go save him. Flip another chapter over, and no longer is he outside the city, he's in the city. Which means that he once was close to the king. We'll use Abraham as a picture of the king. He took a step away from the king and said, I can still be with you from a distance. Mm -hmm. But the slow fade of the enemy kept dragging him further and further and further until he knew home in a distant land and forgot what the king was looking like. What happened? He threw his virgin daughters out to be raped by men. What happened? The city had to get destroyed. God had to send angels to save him. He's trying to get out and his wife turns back because her heart was stuck in the sinful place. It had forgotten about Abraham. It had forgotten about the kingdom. It had forgotten about pleasures. And now was tied with sinful living. So she turns back. And if you all know anything about Sunday school, she turns to a pillow of salt. She died. But what happens? When he was with the king, none of that was ever existent. But he said, oh, I'll just take some time away from you. 
It won't hurt me. The land's good. It won't really phase me. They're good on the outside. And Psalms talks about it. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of the scornful, nor stand in the place of the sinful, nor sit in the place of the scornful. He, he talks that it's the slow fade from walking to standing to sitting. Mm -hmm. I once was walking with God until I met this person and I said, oh, I can still walk with God in them. But my walk got halted because they pulled me in the other direction and so now I began to stand. No longer am I walking with God. Now I'm standing thinking about God, but really entangled with this person right here. And so eventually I have to take a sit. And you know, once you sit, you begin to lay. And when you lay, you begin to do other things. All because you stop walking with the king. So avoid the slow fade by just staying on God's side. Yes, that person might be fine. You might say, that's the one that got away. And you have the right to chase them if you want. But some advice from someone that's just a little older than you guys. Hold on to what the king has destined for you. And see, that's what you got to be after. Do you want God's best or do you want your best? Because your best may be all right right now, but what happens 20 years? Will your best still be the best? Or will God's best always be best? So that's my take on it. Think about it in those terms. Not just because God said don't be unequally yoked, or that we're supposed to be with light believers. I mean, what fellowship does light have with darkness? That's all throughout the Bible. But think about it as you're a king's kid, and if they're not in the kingdom, they're on the outskirts. And is that what you really want to be spending your time and your energy connecting to? Mm -hmm. 